Hi, welcome to Free Accounting Software. My name is Glenn Hasselman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile multiple bank accounts using divisions in Free Accounting Software. This is not the only way to reconcile multiple bank accounts, but it's a good way if the reason you have multiple bank accounts is because you have different branches or different business activities. So the first thing you need to do is set up some divisions and I've set up a division called Division A and a division called Division B. Um, it's basically nothing to setting up a division, it's just you basically choose a name and that's it. Okay, so once you've set up some divisions you can go to the um, cash worksheet Okay, and you can actually filter it by division. Now I haven't entered any transactions yet, so there's no transactions displayed. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm working with this division, division A, and essentially I have a separate cash worksheet just for division A. Um, down in the entry form, um, there's a section here which has um, um, division A already selected. If I hadn't actually filtered this by division A, that would be hidden and I'd have to click this link to to actually select division A. Um, the end result is the same. Okay, so I'll just enter um, some cash received. Um, dollars and this is a sale let's say so I'll put it to sales revenue and save okay so um, now we've got one transaction in the um, cash worksheet which is under this division let's say we've also got a um, cash payment which is going to be a um, let's say a bank fee Okay, now we've got two transactions and um, let's say um, on the 24th of January that is the that is, that is the closing bank account balance. So I can actually um, reconcile this and I'll and click post reconciliation. So again, I'm still working with division A and I've reconciled it. So it says bank statement balance dash div A. Okay. So now let's say I want to enter some transactions on Division B. You can use the same customer. It's already got Division B selected because I've filtered it by Division B. All right, and again, let's just enter another transaction to to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, bank fee again. Alright, and again pretty much exactly the same. Um, I can select the transactions, make sure the amount and the date is correct and then post the reconciliation and then I have this um, reconciled um, bank account there. If I remove the filter, I can click this link to remove the filter. Um, you can see on the cash worksheet I have two lines, um, one for each um, bank account or division, which is the same thing. Um, if I look at the balance sheet, I've got the um, total cash balance displayed, but I can also filter it by division to see what is in division A or division B. Okay, now if you run a profit and loss, you can also filter by division. Um, so 
so this makes divisions perfect for if you have different business activities because you can get a profit and loss and a balance sheet just for that division as well as reconcile that division's bank account. Now a little bit more of a complication arises where um, you want to transfer money from one um, division to another. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's say um, you want to transfer money out of division A and put it into division B. Well basically let's filter it by division A um, and say on the uh, We want to do a cash payment, so transferring money out of Division A, so transfer to Division B, um, and let's say we're transferring $100. Now you can't pick cash worksheet here, because it's not an account. Um, so you have to pick some kind of a um, clearing account, so let me just pick uh, loan payable to owners so um, this is actually going to put a hundred dollars into loan payable to owners but you know that's going to be okay because we're going to cancel that out so um, save that transaction now you can see that division A I filtered by division A already um, is now showing $100 coming out of that bank account. So now we go to Division B. And we want to show $100 going into this bank account. So um, basically put in a cash received entry, also dated the same date. Transfer from Div A and hundred dollars uh, and pick the same bank account okay so you can see that you know this has got the hundred dollar this division has got the hundred dollars coming into it the other division had the hundred dollars going out of it okay well that's about all there is to it and um, it's it's a useful way to handle multiple bank accounts particularly where there there is the reason is there's different um, business activities um, for it uh, there's other ways so I'll be recording some other videos um, about how to handle those thanks for watching